Welcome to the short answer and open-ended assessments in Seesaw tutorial. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create short answer and open-ended formative assessment questions, understand the difference between short answer and open-ended question types, review free response assessment data to gain deeper insights into student understanding, Collecting insights from students is now even easier with Seesaw's short answer and open-ended assessments. These flexible question types add additional customizability to Seesaw assessments, allowing teachers to collect text-based responses from students and provide insight into student performance and understanding, while helping teachers determine which students have mastered the content and who may need additional support. Let's jump in and see this powerful tool in action. Short Answer and Open-Ended Assessments are premium instructional tools that are only available through Seesaw's Instruction and Insights tier. If you're unsure if you have access to Instruction and Insights, please check the Manage Subscription section of your account settings or visit the Help Center. To create a short answer or open-ended assessment question, tap the green Add button and select Create Activity or Assessment. Then select Assessment as the response template. Short answer questions work well for questions with one to two word answers and are auto-graded against correct responses. Open-ended questions allow for longer responses and require manual grading. Begin by selecting short answer from the question type dropdown. Next, select your preferred feedback mode, practice mode or assessment mode. Practice mode allows students to check their work and receive feedback in real time helping them validate that they're on the right track. Assessment mode does not provide students with immediate feedback. Instead, students and connected family members can review results once the student work has been approved by the teacher. Next, enter your question and any correct responses. Multiple correct answers can be added in order to fully capture the student's submitted answer. For example, if your answer is Elizabeth, you might enter Elizabeth, Beth, Liz, Lizzie, and Eliza. Once the student submits their assessment, Seesaw will auto-grade and aggregate the data in a report for you to review. As the teacher, you will have the option of overriding the auto-graded responses if necessary. Begin by selecting Open-Ended from the Question Type drop-down. Open-Ended question types are only available in Assessment Mode. Next, enter your question in the text box and select Add. This will add the question in the text box directly into the Creative Canvas. Once the student submits their assessment, as the teacher, you will need to manually grade or review these assessments for accuracy. To review the short answer and open-ended student responses, click on the title of a completed assessment in the journal. Easily review progress and graded work at the class or student level. Teachers can review question-by-question -question data to determine if students have mastered specific concepts or if they may need additional support. That brings us to the end of the short answer and open-ended assessments in Seesaw tutorial. If you have any questions, please watch this tutorial again or visit our Help Center for additional support.